There we go. My co-presenter is Feng Xi uh, from Alibaba. Um, start off with a little bit about why in the world do we need one more interconnect, right? That, that's the biggest question I think I get is, what do we need one more for? And the, the answer is, AMD started looking around saying, hey, we, we've got a, a great little GPU. Other people have other accelerators that they'd like to bring to market. And how do we do that where we don't have everybody creating their, their own ecosystem? And the answer was, let's get together. And when we got together, we started looking at all the different types of interconnects that companies had. So you, you, you see that Intel's part, we looked at what they had. Uh, Google's part, we looked at, at things that they had available as well. And what it came down to was when we looked across to all those different interconnects all the companies had, the Infinity Fabric that AMD had was a good starting point. We decided the best starting point for UA Link but it was not optimized, so there was more work to be done. And that's why we came up and said, you know, we really need to start a group. And the goal of the group needs to be an easy interface for accelerator vendors to implement and a way for switch vendors to come out and say, I can make one switch that will work across a wide array of those accelerators. Um, you can see at the, the bottom of the slide, we're taking on scale up. And that's what UA Link does. When you start thinking about inference models, you know, it tends to hundreds of, of accelerators it tends to work very well. When you start to think about bigger problems, a lot of the training problems, you may start to get into where you need tens of thousands of accelerators. That's where our, our previous presentation on UEC and UA Link start working together, and you'll see that a little bit later in the presentation. So what we did was the the original promoters got together to say, this is something that's important for us. And what we wanted to come down with for uh, the Ultra Accelerator Link was, first, it has to be open. And that's why you see it in the middle. That's the most important thing. Let's make sure it's open. Anybody in the industry can join in and help shape this. Second, it has to be high performance. One of the key pieces of what we do is making sure that this can be a real-time inference. It can be very fast training. And then finally, it had to be scalable. So it can start off with small models. It can be direct connected if needed, but they can also go out and through that switch and connect up to what we end up with a thousand devices. I mean, as you start to think about UA Link, right? We, we created this open ecosystem. Um, and what we want to do is make sure that we can effectively scale the uh, GPU. And so the, the way to think about it is, how do I take multiple GPUs and put them into an environment that makes it to software look like just one large GPU? And, and the analogy I like to use is the CPUs, right? Right now, if you have a server with one CPU or two CPUs or four or even eight, you don't write different software. You write one kind of software and the OS takes care of everything that you want to do as far as talking to those those CPUs. Same thing we want to have occur here with our scale up is it's just one way to program, one way to talk to. Uh, you know, when we talk about the scale up environment, what are we worried about? Well, we're worried about bandwidth first, right? That's, that's the biggest thing that everybody wants. But then as it comes into it, we, we want to make sure that our latency is low because we're talking to memory. And so we need to make sure our latency stays in, in line with communications with memory devices. And then the other piece is power, right? I think if you've been to any of the presentations, everybody's talking about power. And when you start thinking about it, you know, it starts off with the phi. And if I can decrease the size of that phi, I can actually save power in the silicon. And when I start thinking about the number of lanes that I want, 128 lanes, maybe 256 lanes, on my accelerator and the similar thing on my switch, by saving power in that phi, I can actually save a lot of power for the data center. And so optimizing it at the phi level all the way up makes a big difference. And that, that actually what is what drives our efficiency as well. Now the promoter group has been working very hard to launch this. We just incorporated the beginning of October. We will be opening for members the last week of October so that you'll be able to actually go out 
look at our website and be able to sign up as a member. Um, and then we'll have the specification available for members to review by the end of the year. A little bit of our timeline. So we're moving very quickly. This group formed in May of this year. Uh, since that time, we made a quick presentation at FMS. And um, then we uh, are here talking as well. And we believe that we'll have those, those membership forms posted on the website at the end of October and that specification at the end of the year. Now, what is UA Link? Um, what we're doing right now is we're really focused on how do we make GPUs or accelerators share the memory, right? The models are getting large. You can't just use one GPU. You need to start to get to much larger uh, uh, scaled up models. And so with that, we came up and we said, you know, we, we need to be able to get uh, our good communication, low latency communication with those. And we decided to go ahead and go with the 200 gigabit per second uh, lane speed so that we could uh, make sure that our bandwidth was appropriate. We also wanted to make sure that we were uh, complementary to UEC. And so what you see in the, the picture here, I'm actually gonna skip this, in the, but in this picture here is UA Link is there to help us with creating the pods. And then UEC allows those pods to be hooked together. So when you I talked earlier about you know, the, the tens or hundreds of GPUs, that can be done in a pod. When you start to think about tens of thousands, that's where you take multiple pods and you connect them together through UEC. So with that, let me bring up Feng Shui to help us with uh, what Alibaba is doing in this area. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm a founder from Alibaba Cloud Server Team. Could you just give us a, a brief introduction about the URL? Uh, it is definitely that everybody thinks that the URL is very promising. However, from our, our perspective, it's very, it's a, there's a long way to go to build a real system to work online, uh, especially for for our uh, for for the cloud company like us. Uh, you know that um, we have a lot of customers build their own uh, application team, uh, application building our platform to have a diverse um, requirement. That's a, is a big challenge for us. Anyway, let me introduce our Alink system. We call it AOS, uh, which was uh, initiated by, uh, jointly by uh, Alibaba, AMD and uh, other chip vendors, uh, several ODMs and uh, even IP uh, ASIC vendors, including this uh, AOS. And, and it aims to build a, a developer system standard ranging from the uh, in, uh, interconnection, the, uh, the sorry, um, ranging from the inter interconnection standards and the uh, rack level and the uh, fiber management level. So it has to, to be uh, a little bit challenging for us right now. And uh, so we synchronize the roadmap and align with the schedule to build up the system. Uh, ASAP, we 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 little bit can wait for this. Yeah, so the Ares has a data play and the uh, managed play, offering rich capabilities and uh, features on the uh, platform. Um, the data play uses Ulink as a scale up interconnection protocol, which natively supports the uh, memory semantic access and the shared memory, shared graphic memory, with uh, ultra high bandwidth and uh, ultra low latency. Ah, okay. Uh, the errors also adds the in, 
network computing acceleration functions in our in the data plane. Um, the goal of uh, ARS management in, uh, plane is to provide the standardized uh, uh, access for different chip windows, um, enabling the different chip solutions can be integrated very easily to our uh, server fleet uh, through a unified software interface. It will especially provide the ca cloud capabilities such as the uh, single or multi-tenant configuration flexibility on our cloud platform. So, okay. So, we designed the Pangeo AI uh, generation, two, uh, generation 2 uh, servers for the next generation hyperscale AI clusters. Uh, it, it's a prototype right now uh, with open ecosystems, uh, high energy efficiency, high performance. It will define the AI company node, computing node, and uh, scale up and scale, scale out in the connections, the rack level and the CDU specification, and supporting mainstream AI solutions with the in one hardware architecture within the one hardware uh, cloud platform. Okay, Alibaba cloud platform. Um, finally. Okay. Yeah, we're asking us to. Yep. Okay. That's right. Finally, we look forward to more and more partners can embrace the UA Link and join our ARS system or ecosystem. We believe that we will get ample of dose of uh, pain and suffering, as Jensen said. But we have to say we should give ourselves more options, essentially, better opportunities. Thank you all. Thank you, everyone.